One of the tenets of the USB is it's pretty easy to use. For this purpose, we have five pounds of USB material. We take the water and we pour it into the dry material. Now we mix it up for about a minute or two. How well it sticks to this is how well it sticks to the steel. You have to get it to a consistency that makes it wet, but also makes it trowelable. Now I have it ready for it to apply. We next have to go to the area of the patch, which we simulated here. We cut it back to where it's all solid material. We want the steel to be free of any oils or paints or anything that would impair bonding. So what we also recommend is based on how dry this is, we, uh, we wet it down. You don't want to get the steel wet because that'll impede the bond, but you do want to add something because otherwise uh, the water will be just absorbed out. Take some of the material that we pre-mixed and we simply apply it. And remember, this is limited to three square feet by UL per patch. At the end of the day, this is what a patch should look like. When this is fully dried in four weeks, you'd probably have to hit it with a hammer to take it off. It's that strong. Plus, it's compatible with the existing material, so, and it's been intimate and verified. And at the end of the day, you're doing it yourself so it's going to be a lot cheaper than any traditional means. The name is Tim Delrath, the product is UFP, and UFP is the way to go when you don't know.